pretty big news today uh, on a couple fronts. Four star running back, Dijon, Dijon, however you want to pronounce his first name that I've heard pronounced 14 different ways. Edwards, running back out of Colquitt County, Georgia, has committed to UGA. This was a bit of a surprise even to most recruiting analysts because it's been very quiet. There really hasn't been any buzz about Edwards. I think he had one crystal ball that had him going to Athens. So I knew there was a chance we took Edwards, but I thought it would be out of frustration on Zach Evans' part. Either way, I am uh, I'm excited. Edwards is a solid running back. Um, he, he didn't put up gaudy stats in high school. Uh, this past year as a senior, he rushed for just over a thousand yards and by just over like a thousand and one yards and 11 touchdowns. Um, decent, not huge, not eye-popping numbers like we've seen out of some running back commits in the past at UGA. Uh, he did have four or 500 receiving yards this year, which is good. Uh, need a back that can catch out of the backfield. Uh, statistically, his junior season was his biggest season. He had like 1,500 yards rushing and almost 30 rushing touchdowns, which is nuts. Uh, so he dropped off a little bit his senior year. But with that said, while he didn't put up gaudy, ridiculous, you know, 15 yards per carry stats, he was kind of pedestrian at six yards per carry his entire career. One thing I look at is the competition that he faced and who he was playing uh, because the school that he goes to is playing at the highest level in the state of Georgia. They are a 7A school, which obviously is as high as you can, you can be as far as a classification goes. They were the number four team overall in the state of Georgia amongst thousands. And number 62, I believe. Top 75, top 100, I think it's 62 in the nation. So, I mean, this is a legit high school team that he played on against high-quality opponents. So we kind of know what we're getting with Edwards. Um, he is a bruiser. He's already pretty big. He's six foot, six one, depending on what site you look at. Anywhere from 205 to 215. Again, depending on what site you look at. So he already comes in with the SEC body type that you like to see. Um, now, what does this mean? And I know almost every video that I've posted has mentioned the word Zach Evans. And I've said a lot about Zach Evans, and I promise you... This will be my last Zach Evans video until he signs somewhere or, or enrolls somewhere, I should say. And at that point, I will congratulate that team. I am a UGA homer. So obviously, I want 
the number one running back in the country to go to UGA. UGA had a legit shot, obviously, at signing Evans because we did. But it appears that he's not coming to Athens. Is there still a slim chance that he does? Sure, absolutely. I don't see it. Um, signing three high-profile running backs in one class is crazy. Especially when our starting running back is going to be a redshirt sophomore. Um, so I, I think that the Zach Evans ship to UGA has sailed. I would be shocked if he decides to come to UGA, if UGA would even have a scholarship for him. I do have a feeling that uh, Kirby and, and company were not going to string this along with, uh, with Evans, and they, they saw that the guy that they wanted, and they went out and got him. And uh, definitely a solid pickup to add to RBU. So the Tennessee fan that was uh, commenting on one of my other videos, Chris, I believe is his name. He was on the money. Um, Jay Graham, the running back coach, went to Tennessee. That was announced yesterday. I don't know, is that an effort to land Evans, or is that something that is going to uh, be built upon on the future? I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know that Evans uh, is considering Tennessee. This obviously is going to change Evans' mind a little bit. Um, he was actually on his Instagram yesterday. He said that he was going to be in Athens this weekend. I don't know that that happens now. Um, I, I don't know that he actually does take a visit to UGA this weekend. I would be surprised if he did, to be completely honest with you. So, I said Tennessee wasn't in the mix. Tennessee is probably in the mix for Zach Evans. Florida State probably got a bump to be in the mix with Zach Evans. Ole Miss maybe got a bump because I, I ultimately think that this takes UGA out of the equation. Just way too much talent in that running back room. And it, it's young talent. I mean, the James Cook, who is second, third string running back, is going to have the most seniority as a junior. So, I mean, it's a very talented, young running back room. So, again, I like to have fun. I'm a UGA homer. There's definitely potential that Zach Evans does go to Tennessee. Um, Ole Miss could be in the mix. Florida State could be in the mix. It'll be interesting. This will be the last time I mention Zach Evans' name until he is enrolled at a university. But I'm excited. Edwards, Edwards is a beast. He's more of a Nick Chubb type of uh, running back, which will be nice to see. This commitment, now something could change. Again, this is a commitment. He didn't sign. National Signing Day is next week. This is a commitment. I think he sticks to it. But we'll see. This commitment, though, bumps UGA up to the number one class uh, in every recruiting site that there is. Um, 
including the composite rankings, which is the only one that matters, if we're being honest with ourselves. Uh, but UGA has the number one class on 247 Rivals and ESPN. So it's going to be interesting to see if that holds up. I don't think it'll be hard to do, like I've said in every other video so far. So good things on the horizon. Uh, I did get confirmation from Uncle Lou. I will be on the morning show Friday, February 7th. So not this upcoming Friday, but the following. I will be on the Uncle Lou morning show. Uh, it's during my drive to work, so I only have 15, 20 minutes to uh, appear on the show, but uh, I'm excited for that. And uh, that is about it for today. So big day for the dogs. Edwards commits. UGA has the number one class. But does it mean we miss out on Zach Evans? Most likely. But I'm excited. It's great to be a Georgia Bulldog. Have a great evening.